Hello guys, uh, today I am going to cover some updates for Synthesizer. There are several changes I am planning to make and I tell you a story about those. So far what we have right now, we have implemented read support for the Synthesizer. You can see uh, read is, is changing. Next I implemented uh, SWR scale right here. Uh, besides that, we have DX RX support, um, band switching, and S method. If you look that I'm touching A0, you might see that S method does work. And of course, on A1, we have uh, SVR sensor, which is also going nuts. <laughs> I'm touching this pin. So, this is what we have right now. Beside that, um, I implemented band switching. And if I will go after and turn off uh, switch and turn off read mode, so when I'm pressing short time, when I'm making short press, I am switching to read mode. And if I'm switching again, so it uh, returns back to normal mode. If I'll press and hold, it should jump between uh, bands. Yeah, looks like a little bit glitch in here. And if I'll press and hold, I can change the uh, and rotate, so I can change the step. So it's kind of weird why it doesn't switch between bands. Okay, right now it does switch between bands. Sim seems to I have some bug in my firmware but you might see it does make switches between bands and jumps between bands and right now it is implemented this way when it jumps right into the middle of the band so when you switch between bands it just you places you in the middle of the band and it's maybe not the best way to, of doing these things so far I have a problem the controller doesn't have enough memory so 32 bit bytes kilobytes of memory is not enough to uh, fulfill all purposes and right now we have 95 percent used for this firmware so what i'm planning to have i'm planning to switch to atmel uh, 128 uh, 4p controller it's a slightly different AVR controller and I think it will be better choice because it has more memory so I can implement more uh, features I try to compare prices it costs like three dollars uh, when the current one the 28p costs like one and a half so double the price of the controller but it doesn't add up a lot of money to the cost of the device and anyway it will be like custom board and everything so so far it should be good price and should be affordable still should be affordable enough and but the advantages are obvious and uh, we can implement more features and uh, provide a better user experience and plus it has more pins so I think I can implement a little bit more like a more extensive like work with this device more keyboards and more buttons so right now I'm as you can see I'm working on schematics for this device and the schematics itself is a little bit in work in progress right now so I don't plan to go into production right now so I will do a little bit more research on this project and I want to have something working and working great rather than to have something broken in the half like we see right now and I don't have a lot of time right now to work on this project but I will try to contribute as much as I can to it uh, all right so this is our project, this is Synthesizer. I'm still working on it. I'm not dropping this project. Uh, we will see 
uh, when I'll order parts, I will make additional board, I will finalize schematics, and I will continue working on firmware for this device. Thank you very much for watching. See you the next time. Bye.